All right, guys, we're back on the, uh, the baby bullet here. Um, what we're working on tonight is we're working on this uh, sliding handle here. And um, so this is a permanent assembly here. It's uh, assembled through the hole. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. So it's assembled through the hole. Uh, this is a short version of that. Okay, it's assembled through the hole, and then it has these uh, uh, these end features on it. Okay, now my original method that I was going to do this with is uh, I created a little uh, a little a little forming die, and there's a there's a shot of that. Let me open it up and take it apart, and you guys can kind of see the guts of that. Um, so it's basically a clamp. Um, with a little a little pocket at one end uh, that has a little radius on the inter the inside edge, okay, like that, okay. Um, and so the the general idea is you clamp this, and then you so you see this appears to have gotten hot, and it has. <laughs> uh, you heat that up nice and hot, and then you uh, you pound that and upset that hot metal into that cavity like that. Oops, come on. All right, well, it's just out of balance. Doink, like that, okay? And then, you know, obviously the top's all beat up by the hammer, so uh, at that point you, uh, um, you do a little filing and a little smoothing, and, uh, and that's what you end up with, okay? So that's one way you can do that. Well, you know, I, uh, so I made this, and I, uh, I tried it out, right? And it works, it works fine. Um, but then I actually started looking at these things here and how Wilton did it. And um, it turns out that these are actually a separate piece. Now, at first glance, when I looked at it before, I just looked at them and went, oh, yeah, they just, you know, they smush the ends and off they go. You know, they do it as an assembly. Well, I've, I've kind of examined it closer, and maybe you can see that. There's a discoloration there in the center. Maybe we can see a little better on that end. Uh, and what they do is, this is stepped, this rod is stepped, and this little cap piece slides on there, and then uh, they displace some metal, and then they do a little finishing on the end, or maybe they don't do any finishing on the end, I don't know. So it's kind of riveted on, I guess, would be the right thing. So what we're gonna do is, I just dropped my pencil, uh, so I gotta grab another implement here. We're gonna make a couple little little caps that look like that. And we're gonna do it kind of the same way that Wilton did it. Um, not because um, this doesn't work, it's just, it's another way that you can do that, okay? And maybe you don't wanna do this, or maybe you don't have a torch. I don't know, that's one way you could do it. Um, you know, this is relatively simple to make. Um, you do need uh, a tool that has, uh, an end mill that has a radius on the corner, which is, Maybe um, uh, people don't have that. So this one you can do just in the lathe with, uh, with real simple tools, okay? So, um, and maybe we'll demo this one too if you guys uh, want to see that one demoed, uh, uh, how I did that. Um, so let's go over to the lathe. We're going to make a couple of these and then modify the, uh, the end of the rod. Uh, so that it has a little out sticker here that we can uh, that we can pin over and finish the end and it'll retain those little caps. So okay, that's what we're gonna do. After I pick my screwdriver up. All right, so we got a piece of three eighths diameter uh, coal rolled in there, and it's already centered up in the lathe. And so let's uh, go ahead and face the end of that real quick. particular case I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and center drill this Oops, sorry sorry about the bump just because we don't have a lot of extra space for run out and whatnot
next step is we're going to put a little counter bore in there to fit this uh, um, to fit this quarter inch rod here like that. Uh, and I want kind of a flat bottom with a sharp corner. So I'm actually just going to use an end mill and I'm just going to use that as a counter bore and just plunge in there a little bit. Now normally you don't it's it's not good practice to put end mills in chucks. Um, it's just kind of bad practice uh, in particular with keyless chucks. Uh, if you have a Jacobs chuck you can get away with it because it really locks up um, uh, with vibration better than a uh, um, than a keyless chuck. Keyless chucks uh, don't tolerate uh, chatter very well or things like that that happen with end mills <laughs> and they cost a lot more. Okay so now let's uh, I'm gonna come up I'm just gonna touch the end here like that and then I'm gonna set the uh, I have a little uh, depth readout on the uh, on the um, the tailstock here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plunge in half of the thickness that we're going to make this thing which is an eighth of an inch so I'm going to go in uh, so it's a little over three millimeters and then I'm going to go in about uh, two and a half millimeters uh, to create my counterboard so let's uh, let's do that let me get some uh, some Earl going here so a little dab of liquid love on there all right let's go for it Move the camera. Well, I don't know. That's a pretty good shot there. <laughs> All right. Let me. Uh, you know what? We're just going to keep going with that. <laughs> We're just going to keep going with that. So I'm going to touch off. Right there. Okay. Zero that, and I can't remember how wide that insert is. <laughs> in and create a back shoulder for that hopefully without parting it off all right something like that okay so now I'm, I'm what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna manually file a little radius around that so it, it looks uh, uh, sweet and happy like the um, um, like the stock Wilton. All right, still a little uh, little file work there. Of course, I don't have a file handy. <laughs>
actually. Well, let's go with that. These are pretty easy to make. <laughs> Almost dropped it. All right, let's uh, do the other end of this thing. This is the rod here itself. Oh, get that chuckied up. Oh, we'll face the end. Turn it back a hundred thousandths. Happens real quick. Okay, so that goes on there, and you see we got a little bit protruding there. Um, that's going to be our peen material there. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll countersink this side just a little bit uh, so that it has a little flared out area. And then we're going to upset some of that metal into that countersink and, uh, and uh, Bob's your uncle. All right. So I know uh, some of you are going, how the hell is he going to countersink the other side of that thing, right? And there's one that's done. Let's do the other one. Uh, and what I did was I just put it on backwards and then I put it in the put it in the chuck here. Oops. Of course, you know. It goes really good when you're doing it off camera, right? Tighten that up. See, it's just a, I'm just using it as a gripping tool, and I'm just going to do it by hand with my little uh, my little Noga deal here. And I can push on that pretty hard, get a little countersink going. Now you could, you know, you could clamp that down on the mini pallet too, if you wanted to. Let's compare those. Yeah, a little more, and hold it down that way. Alright, that looks pretty good. Beep. Okay. Okay, now here's the part where Mr. Bozo could really jack you up. Is you gotta make sure you put it together. Now you can do one side without putting it together, but man, when you get to number two, uh, look out. So I'll clean these with alcohol just so no oil weeps out of there after the fact. So uh, let me do that and we'll do some upsetting. Okay, so we're ready there. Now the the stem of this is sitting down on the uh, the tube of the vise in there, and I've got it, uh, um, you know, on a piece of copper so that it doesn't, doesn't get messed up. So I'm, okay, I'm holding this down until it gets you know at risk of squashing my fingers until it gets. Uh, kind of set. Oh yeah, that works pretty good. So that number uh, 100 thousandths uh, looks pretty good. Let's uh, keep going here.
kind of like that. Let's get a little edge on it though. I want to work, I want to come around the corner a little more. I'm, I'm going to get my magnifier. I'll be right back. If I can hit my fingers some more. You know what? I kind of like that little faceted look. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Okay, oops. There's so you can kind of see how much countersink I had there. And uh, it looks like it's working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm so excited I want to do the other side, but don't forget, put it in the handle <laughs> or in the lead screw. So I had a little piece of copper on the uh, sliding uh, tube of the vise just to have that sitting on it. So I backed it up so I got a nice firm hit. Okay, there we go, guys. Uh, one sliding handle. All right, and uh, Pete Ferguson's uh, uh, lead screw that he made. Thanks for watching. <laughs>